out in the wilderness or in your home, you're pretty much always right around the corner from the spider. However, there are so many different species of spider, approximately 40,000 worldwide, that it's hard to sometimes figure out which ones you need to worry about and which ones are fairly harmless. In this video, I rank the 10 most dangerous spiders in the world and show you details of their bites. The list is based on how common the spider is, how aggressive it is, and how deadly its venom is to humans. While everybody's body reacts differently to a spider bite, symptoms can range anywhere from pain to nausea to death. We should all be cautious of the following arachnids. These are the top 10 most venomous spiders. Number 10. The Red-Legged Widow Spider The Red-Legged Widow Spider is a rare spider, which is a member of the Black Widow family and highly venomous. According to all literature, this spider is indigenous to South and Central Florida. This colorful spider is less than an inch long, and packs the same type of venom as its other willow relatives. Bite symptoms are systemic, spreading through the lymphatic system and usually start about one to three hours after the bite. The most common symptoms are intense pain, rigid abdominal muscles, muscle cramping, malaise, local sweating, nausea, vomiting, and hypertension. If left untreated, latrodectus bite symptoms usually last between three to five days. Number nine, the wolf spider. The wolf spider is a member of the Lycosidae family and there are around 125 species found in the United States and about 50 species found in Europe. A full grown wolf spider is typically a half an inch to two inches in length. They are hairy and are usually brown and gray with various stripe-like markings on their backs. The eye arrangement of the wolf spider is one of its most interesting features, with four small eyes in the bottom row, followed by two larger eyes in the middle row, and two medium eyes in the top row. They received the name wolf spider due to an early belief that the spiders would actually hunt their prey in a group, similar to wolves. Some other names for the wolf spider are the ground spider and the hunting spider. Wolf spiders do not make webs, but actively hunt for their prey. Before we go on, did you know that doing good things brings good things to you? It's true, it's called karma. If you could do me this one good thing and click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, this will ensure that I'll be able to bring lots of new videos to you in the future and it will bring you tons of good karma. So what are you waiting for? Click it. On with the video. This spider is not known to be aggressive. However, they will bite if they feel like they are in harm or danger. They also move extremely fast when they are disturbed. If bitten by a wolf spider, the wound should not be bandaged, but an ice pack should be placed on the bite to reduce swelling. If necessary, the victim should avoid any movement or increase heart rate. It is extremely important to seek medical attention if you're bitten by a wolf spider. Number 8. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider this Eastern Australian native spider is one of the most feared of the venomous animals down under, Australia. They are typically one to three inches long and can be very aggressive when provoked. The long-lived female funnel webs spend most of their time in their silk-lined tubular burrow retreats. The males tend to wander during the warmer months of the year looking for receptive females. Sydney funnel web spider is responsible for 13 confirmed deaths between 1927 in 1980, which is a fair amount. Sydney funnel web spider venom contains a compound known as a traceotoxin, a highly toxic ion channel inhibitor. These spiders typically deliver a full envenomation when they bite, often striking repeatedly due to their aggression in their large fangs. For this reason, people are strongly advised not to approach them. Chances of being bitten are high if encountered. There was at least one recorded case of a small child dying within 15 minutes of a bite from a Sydney funnel web spider. For very small children, the amount of venom dispersed through the body is many times the concentration in an adult. Since the anti-venom was developed in 1980, there have been no recorded fatalities from the Sydney funnel web spider bites, but still it's something you need to watch out for. Number seven, the Northern Funnel Web Spider. The northern funnel web spider of Australia is the largest of this genus, reaching sizes over three inches long, and is most easily distinguished by its habit of dwelling in trees. 
these spiders are attracted to water, and hence they often fall into swimming pools, leading to encounters with homeowners trying to scoop them out of the water. The venom from all funnel web spider species can kill a human within minutes if no anti-venom is available. This makes the funnel web spider one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. Yikes! Number 6. The Chilean Recluse Spider The Chilean Recluse Spider is a venomous spider closely related to the brown recluse spider. In Spanish, it and other South American recluse spiders is known as Arang de Recon, or corner spider in Portuguese. This spider is considered by many to be the most dangerous of the recluse spiders, and its bite is known to frequently result in severe systemic reactions, including death. As suggested by its name, the spider is not aggressive and usually bites only when pressed against human skin, such as when putting on an article of clothing. Like all recluse spiders, the venom of the Chilean recluse contains the dermatochronic agent, which is otherwise found only in a few pathogenic bacteria. Some bites are minor with no necrosis, but a small number of bites have produced severe dermonecronic lesions or even systemic conditions sometimes resulting in renal failure. In about 4% of cases in a clinical study in Chile, the victims actually died. Number 5. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider The Six-Eyed Sand Spider is a medium-sized spider with body measuring 1-2 to two inches and leg spanning up to 4 inches. It is found in deserts and other sandy places in southern Africa, with close relatives found in both Africa and South America. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider is a cousin to the recluses which are found worldwide. Due to its flattened stance, it is also sometimes known as the six-eyed crab spider. Bites by the spider to humans are uncommon, but have been experimentally shown as lethal to rabbits within 5 to 12 hours. Although there are no confirmed bites and only two suspected ones on record, however, in one of these cases, the victim lost an arm to massive necrosis, and in the other, the victim died of massive hemorrhaging similar to the effects of a rattlesnake bite. Toxicology studies have demonstrated that the venom is particularly potent with a powerful hemolytic necrotoxic effect, causing blood vessel leakage, thinning of the blood, and tissue destruction. Number 4. The Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider, also known as violin spiders, fiddlers, or fiddlebacks, from the dark violin-shaped markings on the head, are slow-moving, Retiring spiders that wander about in dim areas. They often den in footwear, clothing, and beds, and are then easily trapped against someone's skin by clothing, bed sheets, etc., leading to the spider's bite. Most encounters with the spider occur from moving boxes or rooting about in closets or under beds. The range of brown recluse in the United States is mostly restricted to the Midwest, South, and Southeast. However, a number of related recluse spiders are found in Southern California and nearby areas. The bite of a brown recluse is extremely venomous and has led to fatalities through massive tissue loss and the subsequent infection. Deaths from the brown recluse spider have been reported only in children younger than seven years. Oh my gosh. Number three, the brown widow spider. The brown widow spider like its cousins the Black Widow, Redback Spider, and Katipo, are spiders that carry a neurotoxic venom which can cause a set of symptoms known as latrodectism. Like many spiders, widows have very poor vision and they move with difficulty when not on their web. The brown widow spiders have relatively spindly legs and deep globular abdomens. The abdomen has one or several red spots either above or below. The spots may take the form of an hourglass or several dots in the row. The male widows, like most spider species, are much smaller than the females and may have a variety of streaks and spots on a browner, less globular abdomen. The males are generally less dangerous than the females, but will bite if the web is disturbed and the spiders feel threatened. The venom of a brown widow, while seldom life-threatening, produces very painful effects, including muscle spasms, tetanus-like contractions, and in some cases, spinal or cerebral paralysis. This paralysis is generally temporary, but might lead permanent damage to central nervous system. A, a serious bite will often require a short hospital stay. Children, elderly, and ill individuals are at most risk of the serious effects. <sighs> 
Number two, the Black Widow. Black widows are notorious spiders identified by the colored hourglass-shaped marks on their abdomens. Several species answer to the name, and they are found in temperate regions around the world. Approximately 5% of the reported bites were fatal prior to the invention of widow spider antivenom. One of their favorite haunts is an old-fashioned outhouse. 63 deaths were reported in the United States between 1950 and 1959 most of which occurred in or around a wood pile or an outhouse. But with the modernization of home plumbing and heating, black widow bites are now pretty rare. This spider's bite is much feared because its venom is reported to be 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's. In humans, bites produce muscle aches, nausea, and a paralysis of the diaphragm that can make breathing extremely difficult. However, contrary to popular belief, most people who are bitten suffer no serious damage, let alone death. But bites can be fatal, usually to small children or the elderly. Fortunately, fatalities are fairly rare. The spiders are not aggressive and bite only in self-defense, such as when someone accidentally sits on them, like in an outhouse. Ugh. Number one, the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider is a large brown spider similar to North American wolf spiders, but bigger and possessing a more toxic venom. It has the most neurologically active venom of all spiders and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. Brazilian wandering spiders are active hunters and they travel a lot. They tend to crawl into cozy, comfortable places for the night and sometimes crawl into fruits and flowers that humans consume and cultivate. If the spider has a reason to be alarmed, it will bite in order to protect itself. But unless startled or aggravated, most bites will be delivered dry, without venom. The venom bites will occur if the spider is pressed against something or hurt. In this case, the high levels of serotonin contained in the venom will deliver a very painful bite that can result in muscle shock. Occasional deaths have occurred even after anti-venom treatment, which is why this is at the number one spot. Children are often more sensitive to the bites of wandering spiders, as the spiders often make threat gestures such as raising their legs or hopping sideways on the ground, which might entice a curious child. Children have a weaker immune system, and even if antivenom is quickly administered, the death can occur within minutes after the bite, which makes this a very dangerous spider. Run. So what did you think about my top 10 list? Be sure to like and subscribe as new videos are coming out weekly, if not more than that. As always, I'm Geek Dad, over and out.